we're Trent and Allie, and today... Things are getting out of hand. Our accent wall is not what we expected. It really like looked really cool in my head. You hate it? I, I kind of hate it. <laughs> the oven doesn't fit. There's gonna be some uh, heavy duty construction here for a minute. And Trent is losing his mind. How helpful is that mask? <laughs> keeping my chin warm. <laughs> but we're having a blast. It's 1974, you just showed up to the disco. It's and making it work. Are we making a huge mistake? Even if we have to destroy our cabinets in the process. Bear with me while I destroy our brand new cabinets. What's up guys and good morning. Today, <laughs> things are getting out of hand. Let's just put it that way. Last night, I slept about five minutes out of eight hours. And it's mostly because an insane storm rolled in pretty early last night. It's been going all night. It's supposed to rain all day. Last night, there was like hurricane winds. If you guys caught our last episode, we finished the roof. We just barely <laughs> finished yeah. the roof before this storm rolled in. And we put the chimney on and it was like a little crooked and I was kind of worried. With the wind last night, I would not be surprised to go out and see the chimney like dangling by oh, a string. Don't so don't say that. Hopefully that's not the case. Uh, we won't know until we get out there. So. We're gonna head inside and get to work. Today we actually have a special guest who's gonna be coming to help us. He's gonna be doing some little tidbits and touch up on the final parts of the drywall. No, he's not a professional drywall contractor, but he's a very good friend of mine and he's coming to help while Brandon and I start doing the ceiling. Before we get started working on the house this morning, I'm doing a little bit of administrative work and prepping for the next couple months. And one thing I'm so grateful I don't have to worry about is life insurance. Policy Genius actually makes it really easy to compare quotes and simplify insurance buying. And especially if you have a baby on the way or people depending on you financially, life insurance is a really important thing to have. And Policy Genius is the sponsor of today's video. Shop their marketplace to find out how much life insurance coverage you need and compare personalized quotes. Their licensed experts work for you, not the insurance companies, so you can trust them to help you navigate every step of the way. Policy Genius makes it easy to compare quotes from over a dozen top insurers all in one place. You can save 50% or more on life insurance by comparing quotes with Policy Genius, and you could save 1,300 or more per year on life insurance by using Policy Genius to compare policies. If you're looking for life insurance and want to get it done quickly and easily, head to policygenius.com slash Trent and Allie, or click the link in our description below. Thanks again to Policy Genius for sponsoring today's video. I'm gonna wrap this up and we're gonna head inside. <laughs> it's a good thing this thing's four wheel drive today, huh? Kaya! How you doing, baby? Kaya. So this is Kaya. This is Bryce's dog. And she obviously is excited to see Vika. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, the mud. Hey, hey. <laughs> this sucks! <laughs> So slimy. Oh. So slimy. I really need this area regraded so that all this water isn't pooling here. Or just paved. <laughs> or just paved, yeah. All right. It's still summertime. Yesterday it was 85 degrees. This morning it's 46 degrees. It's windy. It's raining. It's dark out. It's a oh, muddy man. disaster. But you know, at least the dogs are having a great time. I'm hoping to channel a little bit of that positive energy because so far, I'm, I'm just cold. <laughs> Perfect timing. Oh my gosh. Good morning. How are you? Oh, I'm doing great. Good. <laughs> Everybody, this is Bryce. He's been uh, one of my friends for a very, very long time since uh, we were like 12, 13 years old. Wow. And what, 55 years ago? Yeah, 100 years ago, pretty much. <laughs> when Bryce was a child. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, uh, we used to rock climb and hang out all the time, and 
our adult lives have kind of like grown apart a little bit and now we're reunifying and Bryce is going to come and help us with the house and then actually Bryce is going to be helping us with another really cool project here in the future. It helps that Bryce is not only a cool person but an extremely experienced construction person. So he's going to whip this house into shape. We got everything here, at least to stay alive and the time. Don't point that at your face. Alright. Alright. Our sunroom is a really cool room. We've got some nice plans for it. The ceiling and this one big wall is all gonna be tongue and grooved. So it cuts down on uh, having to hang drywall everywhere, but it also makes it very interesting and fun to figure out how to get tongue and groove in here. Alright, so we've got our first piece of tongue and groove. Uh, mounted? Yep, yeah, that's mounted, nailed in. We're basically cutting the other piece right here. We're gonna put that in and then just start stacking these puppies. It's gonna be a really productive day. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. You with my eyes still closed. Trent, it's cheapy cheapy outside. It is cheapy cheapy, huh? <laughs> I hate cheapy cheapy. In Guatemala, uh, maybe it's everywhere, but in Guatemala we were told that it's called cheapy cheapy when it like just like rains a little bit, but not really constantly. It's just like misty all the time. It's called cheapy cheapy. It's like a little bit of rain, but not really rain. Cheapy cheapy. Golden. The most creative cutout job ever. It's a starting point. Hey Trent, how helpful is that mask? <laughs> Keeping my chin warm. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of perfect because it's basically our practice run. These boards are just getting mounted unstained, unsealed, untreated, and once this is all installed we're going to paint the ceiling white to match uh, the ceiling in the kitchen and in the bathroom. It's just a flat white so there's no need to pre-treat any of the boards right now. When we get to the wall of the sunroom those are all going to be stained a pretty dark color so that's going to be a totally different process. We won't have to cut out holes for lights, which will make things go faster. But we do have to stain things, which will make things go slower. So, And then working on the main ceiling, the vaulted ceiling, is going to be the most challenging and complicated of all, because it will be stained boards that we're installing and, you know, 30 feet off the ground. Super slow and super stressful, but we'll get to that eventually. Moment of truth? Are you turning it on or just testing the flange? Just testing the flange. Uh, Beautiful. That's pretty. It fits. Trent. I don't know if these are the exact lights that we'll use because okay. I'd like to have the ones that like angle a little bit. Okay. So that they can point straight down instead of like pointing that way. getting all of the full width pieces up. We really just need to rip a couple of skinny pieces down and get them nailed up in that place there. Then this tongue and groove can come up and meet that. Nice. And uh, we're not gonna do that right now because we gotta use the table saw. Mm -hmm. And the table saw, you have to run one of these long pieces all the way through it. Can't do that in here. We don't wanna do that in the regular house or the basement. We need to do it outside. And it's pouring rain today. Pouring. So we're not gonna be doing that today. Bryce already has a much more professional looking setup than Brandon and Trent when they do drywall. Bryce has been very experienced with all types of finished carpentry and drywall for many, many years. And he's just getting to work. He knows exactly what he's doing. Pretty, pretty. Oh, is this blue? You should just leave it like that. Okay. Don't even paint it. We could set a trend, you know? It's very artistic, yeah. <laughs> 
Why is it blue? Is this a new mud? He mixed chalk with the mud so that he can tell where he put new stuff on so it needs to be sanded. Oh. Doesn't get missed. This is a professional hack right here. I just got all the hacks. Wow. I've <laughs> done some YouTube research last night. I was up late on YouTube watching how to do stuff. <laughs> Marcus Stewart tutorial. <laughs> All right, well, I'm just gonna say that Allie and I are kind of going out on a limb with this stain color. We stained 12 of the boards, and I think it's actually coming out really nice. When you first put the stain on, you never really know what it's gonna look like until the grains absorb it and you like wipe it off. And it was like really thick and looking like chocolate pudding. And now it's like being absorbed by the wood and we wiped off most of the extra stain. And I think it's got like kind of a two-tone calico black look to it that I think it's gonna look really cool. I think it's gonna give some really cool texture to the ceiling up here and that wall in there. We're moving right along, but we're doing things in an unconventional order of operations. So a lot of you are probably confused and upset at why we're doing things the way we are, and it's to account for delays and back orders and the fact that we're just trying to get in here as quickly as possible. And if we can at minimum have a functioning kitchen and bathroom, that would be great. If we can have the whole house be functional, that would be even better. But we're just like trying to work with what we've got. So we're trying to install this oven, even though it's like a finishing product that you don't typically install till the very end. And we're just excited to install the oven. We're going for it. And I think I've mentioned this before, but the hole in this cabinet right here is made for a uh, built-in oven and it's like a third the size that we need it to be. So I have to cut a bunch of that face frame out so that this built-in oven will actually fit in that spot. And it's gonna be some uh, heavy duty construction here for a minute. So bear with me while I destroy our brand new cabinets. <laughs> So I just finished cutting out the uh, face frame. As you can see, I basically cut out the entire thing. <laughs> and that's pretty much what had to happen in order for this oven to fit in here. Now I'm just hoping that uh, I didn't do irreversible damage and it's not gonna work for some reason. This is where I would pay to be a appliance installation person. Are we test fitting? Or do we have to build a platform first? Okay, build the platform and then, oh. Don't lean on that. It's really wiggly now. <laughs> um, really all it is is like slide it in and connect the electrical. So okay. super basic. Hopefully it works. All right. So I've been uh, fiddling with this thing for probably about the last 45 minutes. Allie has actually left to go pick up some pizza so that Bryce and I and Allie have something to eat. She took the dogs with her. So Bryce and I are basically just chugging away. He's still over there killing it with the drywall. And I'm just still messing with this uh, built-in oven. So I've got my platform at the bottom down here. I've got the legs underneath all mounted and I've got it screwed together. I've got the wires prepped and ready for the junction box. I think really like the next step is to like slide this oven into the slot, make sure it fits and then uh, get the electrical connected and we're in business. All right, so I've got the cabinet completely cut out. Everything is ready. I've got all the stuff unpacked, all the grates and stuff out of the actual oven. Now Bryce and I are gonna slide it over and try and lift it up and see if it actually fits in the hole that I made in the cabinets and make sure that my platform is level and that everything is good to go. So I guess here goes nothing. Uh, 
definitely in there. Got to make the electrical connections and then I got to uh, continue screwing the face frame in. But I would say that's a success. And I just hope it doesn't look insanely stupid because it's really big. But you got to be able to fit a turkey in there. What's the point of having an oven if you can't put a turkey in there, right? So we couldn't have this little tiny oven that goes in the built-in that can't fit a regular sized turkey. I'm happy with our decision. Oh, Dude. she's back. Have you seen it outside? Yeah, it's crazy, huh? Is it scary? It's a good thing we know these roads. You can't see anything. That's what it looks like outside. You can barely see our barbecue. Looks worse in real life. It's like they're shining. It's crazy. <laughs> you can't even see our house. You should be able to see our house now. Our house is right over there. You can't see it at all. That. <laughs> I ate all the pizza. I hope you guys weren't that hungry. Oh, no, that's fine. We already ate. Okay. Trent's got kind of a crazy look in his eye right <laughs> How's it going? Are we good? It's going pretty good. We've got the, the oven is like kind of in its place. Nice. Well, let's uh, heat up our pizza in the oven and have some dinner. Hey, we could potentially do that. All right. <laughs> We just took a wonderful, much needed break for a little bit of pizza and just some hanging out with Bryce and we are just getting back to it. It feels like it's like six o'clock at night um, because of the weather outside. It's just been dark and gray and raining all day, but it's only like four. Oh, it's five. We're yeah, working it's felt, late. It's felt like this since 10 a.m. So yeah. it's like very, very gloomy and ominous. I'm about to throw the door on this thing and then I'm gonna go flip the breaker and we're gonna power it on and Wow. See what happens. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh. Look at how shiny and clean that is. Hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, look at those fingerprints. Yeah. This is our life now, huh? That's not, we don't even have a kid yet. That's just you. Dang it. <laughs> I mean, whatever's easier to read. Let's do French. Okay. okay. <laughs> Trent, this is so cool. This is cool. This is a really cool oven. Oh. I've uh, never had my own oven before. I've never had any of my own kitchen appliances before. And um, I'm really excited about this one. This is, uh, look at this. Just look at this. Ooh. And then look. Instead of just like the great sliding out, it has like metal drawer slides. Oh my gosh. I want to cook in here right now. I know. <laughs> cool. It's still like a construction site with chemicals and gross stuff. It's never stopped us before. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's been a few hours and we're actually still working. It's almost 7.45 p.m., but we're just cranking along and have some renewed energy after some pizza. We're installing our microwave. We're getting the electrical done in the kitchen and uh, Bryce is still up on the scaffolding, finishing up drywall. Everybody's having a good time and just continuing to work pretty hard. So I know it has looked like it was like 10 p.m. pretty much all day because of how gloomy and cloudy and foggy it was today, but now it is actually 8.30. We literally worked an entire 12-hour shift. Uh, Bryce absolutely killed it today. He's done so much on the drywall. I think tomorrow we'll probably do 
a little bit of sanding and it's gonna be ready for primer. But we got the oven in, we got all the tongue and groove done in the sunroom. We got 12 boards stained. I got basically the frame for our microwave drawer uh, fixed because I needed to put filler pieces in the sides here. Needs a little bit more work there and some electrical to go in the island, but <sighs> things are really coming along. I know we're all exhausted. My wife's pregnant. She's extra exhausted. So we're going to head into the trailer. We'll see you guys in the morning. Call me out, tiger. Call me out. Good morning, guys. We are uh, back in our house. It probably looks like nothing has changed because it poured all night long, nonstop. If this had been snow, we would have had four feet of snow by now. It's unbelievable how much water has come down in the last like 24 hours. It's dark and cold. It's like 40 degrees. So we're in here, first of all, very grateful that the house is dried in and we get to work on the inside. And I'm also really excited that our electrical is pretty much done. And these guys are working on actually wiring up lights so that we can see what we're doing today which is a huge improvement because yesterday it was a little bit difficult to do this during the day in the dark. A piece of paint fell on my eye. Trent's over here struggling. Can you first see anything? Five minutes of the day. Don't rub, just blink. Don't rub. I already rubbed way hard. Oh, that was your first mistake. <laughs> I rubbed it into the back of my eye. Turn your eyelids inside out? Yeah, you just like pinch them together. Stop! Ew! <laughs> I, just pulled, I just pulled the top one over the bottom oh, one. So <laughs> yucky. <laughs> They are beautiful, but they're sad. not dry. <laughs> All right, well, it's starting to look a little bit like a beautiful morning. The sun is kind of trying to peek out. It's about as soggy and wet as can be. And our boards did not exactly dry or fully cure. Stain is a little bit wet still. We don't really have time to mess around, so we're probably going to start cutting these. And once we get them cut to size, we're going to start installing them on this wall here. Wow. And that's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> Wear gloves. Like dances make sense when you listen to 70s music. Yeah. Are we making a huge mistake? Um. This looks like a chocolate saloon from the 1800s. I got to sit back here with a cowboy hat and like have I a shot of whiskey and go ride my horse. That's how I feel right now. I feel like this would have looked really cool on the ceiling and we're gonna paint the ceiling white and maybe we should have reversed it and painted the wall white and not the ceiling white. It really like looked really cool in my head. And I'm hoping that when we're done, it'll still be really cool and I'll love it. But just right now, you hate it. I, I kind of hate it. <laughs> Welcome to our life. <laughs> if we put brick in here, like you were saying, it would look ridiculous. Yeah, I think we need to put like white, modern marble. Tile. Marble. Mosaic, yeah. yeah, white marble. <laughs> Once the walls are painted and the ceiling is white, okay. The the thing I'm concerned with is that like this whole wall is gonna make this room feel really small. Mm, it's dark. Okay. But it would have happened with the ceiling if we'd done the ceiling dark. Yeah, it would have felt short. Yeah. But I don't know. It'll be fine. All right. Probably about a third of the wall done in there of our saloon boards. And now Brandon is actually going to be staining. Ooh, 
excuse me. Whoa. Brandon is gonna be staining the next set of boards. Bryce is still just knocking it out with the drywall, <laughs> running his last leg of the baton race. And I'm over here messing with this spaghetti mess here. I gotta run one more wire from that outlet box to this outlet box. Then I gotta put some fascia boards on the back of the island, put some outlets in, and we can probably power this thing up and it'll actually have power. Really? Probably gonna test fit the microwave, make sure it all works, build the platform. Got a lot going on. Where? In here. In here? Yeah, have you seen it? Oh no, that's that's nothing. I'm talking about the wall. Oh, you like the wall? Yeah, it's good. It's a little dark, no? It'll lighten up. It's okay. still drying. It's okay, like okay. wet still. Okay. I think it's gonna be Thank good. you, Bryce. I feel like we're running a relay race. Yeah. Brandon and I just like ran as much as we could in the relay race, and then Bryce just came up and was like, ah, grab the baton, and he's just like <laughs> running the rest of the drywall race at a million miles oh, an hour. But I'm just gonna need help with this ladder again, Mr. Baton. <laughs> <laughs> we have a couple face frames cut out and outlets and outlet covers installed. They're actually working. The lights are working. It's not raining anymore. It's been a very productive day. Brandon has been staining. How many did you do? Another 12? Another, another set of tongue and groove boards and they are drying in the sunroom. And hopefully they dry faster now that it's like a little bit warmer and sunnier out. And we're actually getting ready right now to test fit the microwave. Woo! Your back. Your back? I've, I've been pretty sure it's just your legs. All back. <laughs> Whoa! Are you hungry? Dinner? Lunch, breakfast, whatever you want to call it. Just some type of sustenance. <laughs> sustenance. <laughs> How's it going in here? Good, we've been crushing it. Yeah? Yeah. How's your errands? Good. Errands are good. Got some food, got some UPS packages. Ready to... Ready to make some cookies in the oven. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, so since you've been gone, okay. the, the microwave is fully functional. No way. And everything is ready ah. to go. And then after I got done with that, since we bought a bunch of switches and outlets and everything, I installed oh all the gosh. outlets in the kitchen except for the ones that go behind the backsplash. Okay. All the outlets in the front room. Oh my god. All the outlets in the bedroom and <gasps> the bathroom upstairs. Okay. I didn't do the bathroom in here. That's fine. Anyway, and then come on, come this way. Wow, there's more. Whoa. <laughs> uh, no way. Totally different vibe down here with lights. Oh huh? my gosh. This feels, is cool. It feels normal and stuff. It feels like a room I could actually hang out in. Maybe I should put my office down here. <laughs> this is awesome. I feel like I've been working like a madman. Bryce has been to. helping a lot and getting all of the drywall ready for paint. Maybe in the next episode, we're actually gonna finish painting the rest of the house. I don't know. That's kind of a pipe dream, but. <laughs> it could happen. We hope you guys enjoyed coming along on today's adventure. We probably made the most oh. progress in this video than we've ever made in any previous video. And we've worked like 24 hours. It's true. In these two days, yeah. so it's been intense. <sighs> we are gonna take a break and have some food. <laughs> yeah, and we hope you guys enjoyed coming along on today's adventure. If you did, make sure you show us by giving us a big thumbs up on today's video. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. And we'll see you guys on the next Adios. one. Adios.